All right, all right, all right. So I decided since we just beat Zelda that I would go ahead and tackle the next one. Um, I owe my basically my sister-in-law, my my cousin's wife, but I consider her him a brother. I'm eventually gonna do Crash Bandicoot. I don't know when. I gotta figure out how to get all that set up. But um, wow, this uh, computer's terrible. This game is difficult. It's not that hard. The first level is easy. The second level really turns up a little bit for a couple hallways. There is a secret for one of them, and I haven't been able to beat the other one. So, uh, because I beat Zelda, I decided, let me knock out uh, Castlevania while I'm at it. Since I've already beat Castlevania 4, let's start where it started. So, this is the original. This is a fun... I don't know if the word fun is actually accurate. So it's, I'm recording on February 10th, so you're going to be getting this in March. Make sure you hit these candles. Uh, for those that are new to Castlevania, uh, those are upgrades. They make your whip longer. The first one makes it metal, which hits harder. The second one makes it longer. Um, these hearts are how you use secondary weapons, which we don't have any yet. Oh, now we do. So when you get here... Oh, you can jump past the door and you'll get an actual secret item, but I messed up. These are zombies. They're weak, but they will surround you. I will show you some secrets. Um, let him jump over you. Holy Fire is one of the best weapons in the game, um, and we're going to try to keep it as long as we can. So coming through here, oh, those were Panth Black Panthers, by the way. Um, all right, I made it up here. Is there anything in here that I need? Nope. Okay, that was a... What was that? That was a Rosario, which kills everything on the screen. Now, there's a secret here. I'm not going to do it. That's not a secret. It's a... I don't know. If you jump here and hit the bat correctly, you'll actually land up on top of there, and you can skip this whole next section. Um... Oof. Boy. So down here we did with Merman, which are some of my least favorite enemies in most of the Castlevania games, honestly. Be careful when you jump. Don't grab that. If they land and you can't kill them, duck. Alright, there's a little cool little secret here. Kill that guy. Break this block, duck. I'm not gonna... I've never been able to get to it. It takes too long to get to, but ah, it's there. Buddy. Okay. So we're now on the other side of that wall, which is a great thing. Be careful kidding the can candles. Sometimes they drop new weapons and you don't want them. Oh, it's a Rosario. Seriously. He beat me to it. Alright. Somewhere in here there's an axe. It's really good for the boss, but I'm not going to get it. Oh, well, I guess I am. Wasn't trying to get it. It just kind of happened. So before you fight this boss, hit this. This is a double shot. Um... It's a second shot, which means I can throw two secondary weapons at once. Um, also, the thing that made me invincible was called a invincible jar, which is very well um, labeled. This is the Phantom Bat. He's not hard. You can use your axes to hit him, but I, I tend to sit over in this corner. Okay, now he's fighting me different. Uh, 
and just duck. He generally doesn't seem to hit you in this corner. If you jump and hit, you'll get hit. I'm being impatient, and that's why I'm getting hit. Dude, quit going all the way over there. He kind of set me up there. He's got one more hit, so goodbye, sir. And he's going to drop the crystal ball, which is going to move us to the next level. Alright, so this level starts out alright, but then it gets it gets a little mean, although I found a shortcut through one of the meaner sections. Alright, so we start here. Okay. So I think if I'm right... Nope, I'm wrong. Is this the boomerang? Uh, they call it a boomerang. It's actually later turned it. I think it's an iron cross. Um, if you have the holy water, keep the holy water. Go ahead, kill the bat first. Goodbye. Now, when you break this, there's nothing here. Just step into it. I give you that. Yay! Okay, so this is stage four. We're out. We're already through different stages. I'm sorry. I should have been telling you that. All right. Okay. Grab the hearts. Watch out for that bat. He's just sitting there. It's another second shot. Go ahead and grab that one. Now this game wants you to be able to jump and fight. It's not built for jumping. It's not a. It's it's a very slow platformer. Welcome to stage five. Stage five is a nightmare. The good thing is these have a pattern. So just move slowly. We're gonna actually use their pattern against them on the next one. So once we get through here, you can get the hearts. There is a knife. Don't get that. Uh, I think the cross is better than the knife. Or boomerang. Okay, we're good here. I'm going to show you something that has absolutely no consequence. I just find it funny. You can stand up here. It does nothing but cool. Okay, so this is one of the hard rooms in the game. Okay, so be careful because these guys will knock you to doom. But this one, if you hit it right, I hit it wrong. He'll knock you up a whole platform and let you skip the majority of the hard part of this room. So we're going to go ahead and leave, and I believe this puts us in stage 6. Which is good, because this room is unfair. Going to grab food. Okay, so these things are spikes. If they touch you, no matter what your life is, it's an instant death. So, you want to jump? It says when it starts going up. That's incorrect. Okay, let's try it again. Thankfully, from my understanding, this is the only part where you'll deal with this. See, my whip is not long enough, but I don't care right now. Okay, so this one... You can duck. So just leaves the third one, which is... Alright, we made it. Hopefully we won't have to do this again. We won't die again. Fingers crossed. Okay, so we got... A bo... No, that's not a bonehead, but a gate... Oh! I wasn't paying attention. I could have got my holy water back. Doesn't say anything about them. Okay. So that guy up there is a bonehead. That's a that, man. You can actually destroy their bullets. Oh, that works too. I 
And we're gonna fight the second boss. Can you give me another holy water? The holy water is really nice against the boss. Boy, holy water would be nice. Alright, so I'm going to farm these guys, because they drop good stuff. Stand, in the, stand still and they will not hit you. They'll fly over your head. I need a holy water, come on. Come on. The holy water will stun the boss unless you beat her. You're still gonna get hit. A lot of these fights are gonna be about you outlasting the boss. It's kinda like the Frankenstein. There we go. Oh my god, I was that's the clock by the way, when that clock runs out you die. Okay, so we beat it, so I think that's gonna be the end of this video, and I'm gonna start with an um Well, you'll see. Uh meet you next video. Adios amigos.